Welcome back to the channel. I have been getting a number of questions that I want to try to answer in this video. Here is Parrish Hudson saying, can you talk about how or what will make ICOSA price go up? Is it just if people buy or does the contract take or get a percentage of stakes, sells, buys, HSI? Also found Andre here saying, excellent video. Could you please explain potential of price appreciation of ICOSA token itself and scarcity or burn if there is any? So there's been more than these people asking this, but at least here you go. I have a video devoted to you and your questions. I think these are really good questions. And I think ICOSA is uniquely set up so that this question is answerable in a way that for a lot of tokens, it isn't. And I'll explain why that is. And I think it's also important to understand this question and the, the answer I'm going to give, um, because I think it will help you understand ICOSA better, Hedron better, and hopefully make you make better choices in this system. So let's go to the contract. This is app.icosa.pro. This is, of course, where you can go to get ICOSA yields. You can go here to use the HS buyback, buyback, where you can give your hex essentially to the project in return for ICOSA. This is going to be especially important in the, the video today. We're going to talk about this a lot. But let's go look at the charts. So here is the current chart of ICOSA in dollars. And as you can see, there is some volatility. Right now, the ICOSA price is $1.28. And it feels to me like it's been hanging around that for a little while. I feel like every time I look at this chart, the price is $1.28. But there's still been some volatility, especially in it's a very short history in the beginning of it. So let's look here at another chart. This is ICOSA over hex. So this is the price of ICOSA in hex basically right now it takes 29.8 hex to get one ICOSA. And you might notice something a little bit different about this chart than the last chart we looked at. This chart looks relatively flat. And I want to try to explain why, at least how I see it, why the current price in hex for ICOSA is relatively stable. And let's go back to the contract to try to answer that. This is, like I said, the HSI buyback where you can take your hex, basically give it to the contract in return for ICOSA. So the first question I want to answer is what happens if the ICOSA price is worth more relative to hex? So that means it takes more hex to get ICOSA than the market has decided is, is fair value. So what happens? Well, if you, if it basically means your ICOSA is really valuable and that you can, if you had ICOSA, you could sell it for more hex, right? So with this function, you have the ability of taking your undervalued hex, wrapping it in a stake, which means of course you're taking, in a lot of cases, this is going to be taking liquid hex, wrapping it up and staking it. This pool incentivizes, you're going to get more ICOSA for having a longer stake. So it really is this ICOSA project is really, and even Hedron are really encouraging five, 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 five stakes because for example, here you get so much more ICOSA for the longer stake, which I think is a side comment, but worth really recognizing that right now there's an incentive built into this project. Whenever the ICOSA price rises high above hex, it actually encourages hex to be taken off the market and staked for 15 years. And it's even going to be more important that this dynamic is built in as we go. But just realize if that price of ICOSA rises up, people can then take their hex that's undervalued, give it to the contract for ICOSA and sell that ICOSA on the market in order to get hex back. And of course that action of taking hex, getting ICOSA, then selling ICOSA brings the, the, the price of ICOSA back down to the hex price again. And it just, that's just what appears to be happening. At least as I see it is whenever that price of ICOSA breaks out, it incentivizes the hex to be taken, given to the contract, more ICOSA to be, to be added to supply brought back to the market and sold for hex to bring that that 
price pair back in equilibrium. And that is what happens if the ICOSA price is, is relatively high compared to HEX. What happens if the price of ICOSA is low relative to HEX? Well, it doesn't make sense, possibly, to sell your ICOSA for HEX when, when you're not going to get as much HEX for it, right? So then what would you do? Well, then you're incentivized to, one of the things you're incentivized to do is to come to this pool, the ICOSA staking pool, and stake it because at least you get yield in ICOSA and Hedron. So um, so what happens when you take ICOSA off the market and stake it? Well, there's less supply and everyone knows if demand remains equal and supply dips, the price goes up. And it, 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 it basically encourages the, because ICOSA is being taken off because it doesn't make sense to trade it anymore. It encourages it to be taken off staked and by removing that supply, it, it, it then encourages ICOSA price to come back up and meet the price of HEX again. And that's just happening. So far, it appears that this particular dynamic is playing out relatively consistently in this short period of time with the project. So, if that makes any sense, I want to talk about what does this mean? What is the potential price of ICOSA. Well, as I see it now, the price of ICOSA, ICOSA is pretty tied to HEX. So if you're really bullish on HEX, then you probably should be bullish on the bullish on the price of ICOSA as well. I do want to give go a little bit more in depth than I, I have already gone and just recognize a couple things. One thing is that the ICOSA is inflating. Like I said, whenever you can inflate, I mean, you, like I said, you can inflate the ICOSA, you can create more ICOSA than exists now by selling hex to this contract. You're adding to the total supply. Whenever Hedron is burned through Hedron liquidations, whenever people buy liquidations here, that Hedron that is given in return to, to get those those wrapped hex stakes, that hedron is burned. It's gone forever, but it does come back to the pools in new ICOSA. And whenever someone borrows, like here's a here's a stake instance. Um, let's let's make this a little bigger. So here's a stake instance, and uh, right here's a stake instance, and we have our borrowable hedron. If if I was to borrow on this, I'd have to make payments in hedron. Uh, the interest and everything, I'd have to make the payments for that. And those payments are also burned. The hedron, when I make that, is no, it no longer exists. But it does trigger an action which gives yield to all three of these pools, Icosa staking, hedron staking, and we are all the SA, which is also inflationary. So one of the things, the caveats that I have is... For example, 30 hex always going to buy one ICOSA, at least on average, is that always going to stay the same? I don't know. One of the reasons is because it depends on one of the things that I see coming into play is the inflation of ICOSA. If it starts really outpacing the inflation of hex, then maybe that ratio is going to going to change a little bit because the, the supply of ICOSA is so, so much greater. That's a potential option. And uh, I mean, so far you can see, even though we've had a relatively meaningful amount of ICOSA inflation, we can still see the prices relatively tied together. So apparently this inflation that we've had so far isn't influencing that price, but it's just something that I'm taking into account when I'm looking at the potential price. And I think it, it just matters. Um, but I, one thing I want to talk about a little bit more, and I said it already, but I think it's just really interesting. If we give our hex or if anyone gives their hex to get ICOSA, in order to do that, you have to stake your hex. If you stake your hex, it's taking you can't resell that hex, right? So 
if you can't if you can't sell your hex it's taking the hex off the market if you take the hex off the market there's less supply of hex if there's less supply of hex <laughs> the price of hex is likely to rise if the the demand stays the same the price is likely to rise well if the hex price rises and the icosa price is tied to hex the icosa price rises and you get in this really weird weird game where they're really in, they're really potentially helping each other and i think it's just worth recognizing that this is happening in this project and and there's a number of people that are really there's a, sol a small subset of people that that aren't really big fans of hedron or icosa and this is one reason why if if you're a hexagon and you don't like the project i have a hard time seeing why exactly that is um but uh but at least this particular aspect of this project seems pretty bullish on hex it's really encouraging people to pull hex off the the market and stake it it's just encouraging st stakes at least the way that we looked at it seems to pretty incentivize uh seems to incentivize stakes and i see people doing that and you can see it's happening because that the i don't think the pair would be so tied together if if people weren't actually exercising these things um so i think those things are worth mentioning and uh, i hope that explains a little bit of the reality right now at least of the pair of hedron to icosa and how tied it is together and so for me when you're asking me what do i think this price of icosa is in the future, my answer is right back to you. Another question, what do you think the price of the future in HEX is gonna be? Because at least so far, it really appears they're a very tight pair between the two and they're probably gonna be relatively linked. So if you're really bullish on HEX, then I would say you probably should be really bullish on ICOSA, recognizing it's a new project and there's there's unknowns in this this whole thing for sure. But hopefully that explains some of the, the answer to how the project is working, how it's tying those prices together, and then how I think that the future price appreciation of ICOSA is tied to the price appreciation of HEX. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.